Hello, friends and followers. Well, here's the uh, the Drake T4XB again, and I kind of went overboard uh, cleaning this thing. I pretty much sprayed oven cleaner on the top of it and uh, had the whole thing soaked with water, trying to get all the crud out of it. And I did finally succeed in cleaning it, but then I said, okay, does this thing still work? And lo and behold, I did dry it off enough with a hairdryer for about an hour that nothing sparked, nothing went bad. So fired it up and I got a little bit of output out of it and I thought, well, that's no good. And then I found out I couldn't get any drive or anything out of it. And I brought the uh, TR4 over and I hooked that up and I got some pretty good power out of it. So I thought, oh gee, I ruined this thing, you know, I'm trying to clean it. And turns out that perhaps the power supply went bad. So this radio has an external power supply that's pretty much on the floor down there, if you can see it. Anyway, so on these pins here, these go to the finals. This one is, is the 650 volt pin. But let's take a look at these pins here and see what's going on. So this one I can't really get much of a reading on. This one's the negative bias, and sure enough, there's a negative 61 volts. This is the old faithful 250 volts or 270 volts, which is good. And this one is, uh, that must be the 150 volts regulated coming in. And the next one is the evil 650 volt pin. And, uh, showing about 507 volts, so it's malfunctioning. I was getting a lot of hum on this transmitter, so I thought, gee, and the other one too, so. Anyway, if I go to transmit mode here, into tune mode here, you'll see that the voltage even goes down further, so I'm gonna take apart the AC4 power supply now and rebuild it. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Yeah, now I got 300 volts. I should have 600 volts, so my finals won't drive. I don't have any drive in the finals. I have nothing, so. Hey, that's life with all radios. Anyway, looks like I gotta take apart the AC4. Maybe get a rebuild kit for it. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't ruin the transmitter. That was nice. I wanna pull the, uh, cover the front off it now. The whole front panel off here, the cover, and clean up the, uh, clean up the plastic in here because I got some soap and crap on there, some uh, dirt and stuff. Yeah, so cleaning this thing, I, I kind of went overboard with oven cleaner. That was extreme. I mean, it did turn out clean. A lot of the dirt, though, did go under the thing and end up down here, and it's made this look kind of grubby down here. Uh, I did go through my switches tonight and detox all the switches, make sure it was all in order. But this down here is probably a bit sloppier here and there from just, like right there, just just corroded looking and, and sconge and dirt from when I cleaned the top of it off. So, I don't know, old radio, it can't be perfect. I guess I'll be happy if it just works again. Maybe I'll be on the lookout for buying another one of these that isn't so beat up like this one is. At least just abused and dirty and kind of scungy. So, I was looking for a hobby when I retired. I'm not going to retire yet, but I'm getting closer. I'm not sure radios is going to be it. I did radios as a kid. I was like railing in the radios when I was a kid. I thought, eh, go back and revisit the stuff a little bit. But now I'm like, wait a minute, you've gone through a full, whole lifetime here. What are you going to go back to the past for and do this stuff? I don't know. Maybe it's like comfort, comfort food before I move on. Anyway, turn this off. Take the power socket out so I don't get shocked. There, now the radio has no power. Turn off the meter. Look at this desk. i got to clean this desk. It's really a mess. Too many projects. Too much going on here. 
I was listening to the radio on the uh, DVR there, and it didn't sound very good. A lot of hum. So, yep, I think the power supply, a diode shorted or something, something bad happened to the power supply. Anyway, here's my, my cleaning effort. I was really worried that I, like, goofed up one of these cans or goofed up the PTO cleaning it, but it seems like it's all in good order. So when I found the high voltage is gone, that's a good sign. But you can see this thing is still really filthy, and I don't think it's going to get any cleaner under my care. So... I guess if I want a perfect one, I gotta buy a perfect one. So I'll keep my eyes out for one of these. These don't cost much sometimes, depending on who bids on them. I didn't pay a fortune for this one, but this one didn't work. Oh great, now it's rusting, so... Looks like I uh, knocked off the paint and now the side bin filter is rusting. How nice. Yeah, you don't want to clean these ever. It, it, it's too risky, and you run into too many problems. I guess I read somewhere that one of the experts that does this stuff, he steam cleans these things, which I don't have a steam cleaner, so I just simply scrubbed it off, got a toothbrush, give it a good go over again. I, I cleaned this thing a long time ago, like two months ago. Anyway, took this whole cage apart, and this is like we can clean in here now. You can see the coils clean. All the caps in there are clean. Everything's like, everything's nice and clean in here now. So I was worried that I messed up a choke or using oven cleaner, wiped out a choke or a coil or something. But no, I don't think I'll be doing oven cleaner again. I, I thought it would clean the deck here. It did, oven cleaner did clean this thing somewhat. I guess it didn't damage anything except I either put Windex on this filter here or something and it ate the paint off it. Windex or Fantastic or Oven Cleaner. I don't think I hit up this Oven Cleaner, but the paint just came right off it, so... I guess I'll get some great paint and paint it back. Sideband filter, of course, the markings are off it now, too. I wasn't too worried about the filter because it is sealed. But what if you go to a ham fest, like a radio fest, and you're buying a radio and it rains, and your radio gets like soaked, you know what I mean, in the rain? I mean, I'm sure radios have gotten soaked before and they live through it. So I did detox that switch a little bit, but you can see I didn't get all of it. And I went through the bottom and detoxed it. All right. Well, I think I'll keep my eyes out for a better looking radio. This one is just... This transmitter is, it was, it was a basket case when I got it. I got it working, and I tried to make it cleaner, and it may still work. We'll see. i got to fix the uh, AC4 power supply, and then we'll see where this thing goes. But, hey, it lights up nice, right? I did put the filters in it, and, uh, well, I unplugged it. It does light up nice. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Sorry to bore you with this video. I should move on to some more exciting topics like software, DevOps, things like that. Things people care about. People don't really care about old radios. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Take care.